Israel has been shocked by the worst case of child abuse in the country's history. A man who poses as a rabbi is about to stand trial for an alleged catalogue of physical abuse against children. Artis Paula Slier reports. These are the instruments of exorcism, allegedly used to expel demons from small children. They were hit by hammers and cut by knives until a three-year-old ended up in a coma. It is one of the worst cases of child abuse in Israel's history. Elior Noam Chen is the self-appointed rabbi of a small West Bank sect. He allegedly instructed his followers to tie up their children and force them to drink alcohol mixed with turpentine. They were made to eat feces and were kept locked in a suitcase for days at a time. One of the children has suffered permanent brain damage and doctors say he's no more than a vegetable. After a manhunt, Brazilian police finally tracked Ken down in Sao Paulo last year. He lost a legal battle against extradition. It is always more difficult to find someone in a religious neighborhood like Jerusalem because with a beard and religious outfit, it's easy to hide. We have a lot of cases of extradition because the fight against international crime has become a major issue. It took 45 days for police to find him and he fought his extradition, but Brazil's Supreme Court found there was cause for him to stand trial. The children's mother is in custody. She received spiritual guidance from the so-called rabbi and his assistants. They've also been arrested. She'd been caring for her eight children after divorcing their father last year. Such cases are happening both in religious uh, cultures as well as in non-religious cultures. In the past, it was very difficult to, to come nearer to, the, to this uh, culture, to the religious culture, because the, it was and it still is a very close society who finds solutions and help within themselves. The children are now in care. When the police searched Elio Hen's house, they found documents with instructions to put stones on hot Sabbath plates and when they were boiling to put them on the bodies of the children so that they would be cleansed. These explicit instructions on how to abuse children have shocked a country where domestic violence and child abuse is on the increase. Paulus Lear,